So basically today after teaching myself how to edit in 360, I've decided I want to make a 360 daily video. I don't think anyone else on YouTube is doing this right now. So I want to try to do it. I don't know if I can do daily. It's very, very difficult. I work a full-time job. So it's going to be challenging, but I want to try and do it because it seems like it would be fun. And, um, yeah, so today is the first one officially. I shot something in Virginia that you can see over here. I don't know if I can annotate in these 360 things, so I'm going to try and do over here maybe in the middle. I don't know. Checking the mail. Typical day. No mail yet. Oh, I'm gonna have to come back and check it later. Annoying. Once I got my feet caught like right in here with this, it just like went too far. I couldn't get out. I had to like bend back and actually like turn off the button while I was like stuck in there with my feet. It was insane. It was so ridiculous. That was the closest I came to getting hurt on my hoverboard. Although other people have gotten hurt on the hoverboard, I want to mention that as like a disclaimer. Be careful. Hey Marlo. Hey, you're just waiting here for me. Hey there. So when I first thought about doing a little intro to my 360 video, I realized I needed to clean my entire apartment because you can see everything in the video. I hope it doesn't look messy still. It's kind of hard, you can see the lights, so it's a little hard to make things behind the scenes, you know? Um, I think 360 makes you, you have to be more creative because you have to hide these production elements. So I don't know, maybe in the future I'll just try and do these outdoors during the daytime natural sunlight um yeah that's pretty much it thank you very much for checking out my uh 360 video um please subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other films that aren't in 360